I'm going to explain the Z-Index option for connected layers in Flinto's Transition Designer. If you're not familiar with connected layers, make sure to go watch our tutorial on connected layers on our website before watching this video. So I'm here in the Transition Designer and I have a connected layer transition. I'm playing it in slow motion so you can see what's happening really clearly. I have a big photo on the end screen and a small photo on the start screen. And those two photos are connected to create a seamless zoom effect. Now notice that the small photo, as it zooms up, it went over the top of this white choose a photo label. So you can see how it's on top. Now if we look in the layer list, you can see that choose label is right here. The small photo is below it and big photo is in the other screen, which is on top of the start screen. Now when a connected layer transition happens, the two layers are brought next to each other behind the scenes meaning the thumbnail is brought up next to big photo so that they're at the same Z position and they're on top of everything in the start screen in this case. If you'd like to change that behavior, you can use this Z index option under connected layer in the inspector. Just make sure one of the connected layers is selected and then you can change this to match to lower. Now what will happen is the big photo in the end screen, which is on top, will be brought down to the position of thumbnail one, which is on the bottom. That's why we're matching to lower. And that actually puts it below this choose label. So when I play the transition this time, watch carefully and notice that this photo will go below this choose a photo label. See that? So this is a pretty detailed option. It's not that frequently necessary, but when you run into a situation where you want this detail, now you know you can adjust the Z index option to be either matched to higher or matched to lower. 